Hello guys and welcome to yet another exciting episode in our series, Solving What's It Past Questions. And this is Kojo Japon. Without much ado, let's jump right into what we have for today. Now this problem is WASI 2021 Elective ICT Paper 3. And as usual, we have two hours to complete three problems. Now the first of this problem is a data processing system problem. So that is a database problem. So quickly we launch our DBMS, which will be access in this case. And whatever database system that you use or you're familiar with, just go with that. It's basically the same mechanics. So looking at this problem, we are supposed to use a DBMS to create an application, to create a database and name it DB stores in the folder that you've created in our, in our, on our desktop. So we click on the blank database. We give it a name which from the question or problem is data db stores now we have to oh that is bad we have to save this into the folder created on our desktop so on our desktop we create a folder the instruction from the first page is use your initials and then your index number so that is my initial that is my index number so that is ka for kujojapo and that is that so into this we'll save our file in here so you should see the path of this file so we create this database and this is what we get all right so problem number one we've done created our file we have to create a table structure so up in here we're going to create a table we're going to create a table with this structure so let's just divide our screen let's share our screen and then work side by side all right so this is this is fine this 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 will work good so problem number one a create the structure of the table below so right from here we can just switch views and then go to design view and then in this we should give our table a name before we can enter design view now when we jump to b it says we should name our table tbl stores so that would be that all in uppercase so tbl stores that would be the name of our of our table now our first field up in there you see commodity so commodity and then the data type for commodity well when you look down here it is all test so we can go with short test we go to the next field we call that quantity and quantity looking at that just basically numbers remember your data types are very important the next commodity or nest field in there is way bill way bill number now remember this dot will give us issues later on but then so you see the field you entered name does not conform to object naming rules so we can't use special character like that for a field so what we need to do is to just keep it simple waybill and o looking at the data under waybill you can just tell that it's just a combination of it's just alphanumeric so it's okay we can use short test for that the next part is dates received now dates received already fetching the data type dates so that is fine so we should use date as data type and then the next field we create recording officer or receiving officer and they're just names so we go with short this so basically that will be the creation of our table so do you want to save this yes we want to save that and that is that so we have our table ready what is up next is the population of our of our table so quickly we just do that fridge 207 wb 21 or 20151 and then the date we have 14 03 and then 14 and then we have f adamo so we just type as we see up in there hit enter to come to the next row and then we can continue 
to do that and our last file in the our last data in there is cooker for commodity we have 480 for the quantity and then the waybill number wb20155 then on our date we have 200614 then this is the receiving officer b connie so that is it for our table we can go ahead and then right click and just save our table so that is it for our table so we are done with a b we've given it a name c we're supposed to use tbl stores that is our table to create a form with the following features as we can see here all right so we go to create and then it's easier using your form wizard so we use our form wizard then this is our source we are using tbl stores as our source and looking at how it's been arranged yes we are using every single bit of our field so commodity quantity waybill dates received and then receiving officer has been spelled in full here so that means we have something an unfinished business yes we want this to be in a column what is the name that you want to give it to a form well what is the name given in the problem so when you go in here there is no name in ci there is no name in cii looking at d list all officers receiving quantities less than 450 that sounds like a query so the name given to the query is in one d's rs store so obviously that is not the name of our form that is for the query then we go to f arrange the data in one cii that means concerning our form in descending order and then save it as ss stores so finally we know the name of our form which should be ss stores so i mean s stores sorry so that is that now here we want to go and modify the design of our form so we select that option and then we finish here so here we are in the form design view and we can just come and then change the rec officer which was abbreviated to just in full as we see in the structure receiving officer so basically that does that and then we can go ahead switch views and then we have our form created for us just as we see in the structure provided so we are good to go from here so up in here we have our forms now cii says use the form created in one to capture the data in one a one a is actually our table so we actually because we used our table as the source of data for our form already the data has been captured so that means that when i move from one to two i should see the next record in here so that is that three four five so that is what wayak means by the problem just means by capturing the data so our form is just basically holding because holding the data from our table so that is that for this problem so we are done for c i and i i we jump onto d list all officers receiving quantities less than 40. so we can close our form and then create a query this is a query we just want to ask this is a condition list officers and then the quantity that they received are less than 40 so that is a query so we go ahead create a query so in here we have our query wizard yes we want to create a simple query and then what is our source yes our table is our source but then what are the important things that we need basically list all offices receiving quantities less than 450 so that is all that we need so we can this is not specific we can just move all the fields and then just go and then apply apply the criteria so yes um, show details of every field yes we want to do that now what's the name of this query now up in here for e save the result in 1d 1d is referring to our query here as r stores 
so we have our stores here and we can delete this query up there so we have our stores is do we want to modify something yes we have to go into the query view we have to just switch into the design view of our query and then come here and then apply our criteria the criteria here is that the quantity should be less than 40 so under quantities we just apply our criteria less than 440 so when we just switch views and then go to data sheet view we can only see offices who are just receiving quantities that are just less than 450 and actually you can just leave it this way or you can go ahead and then just hide those fields that are not really relevant here so we can choose to hide our commodity way bill dates received so that we only have quantity and then the receiving officer after all that is what the question just demanded list all offices receiving quantities less than 450 so that is basically our query and then up in here you see all these quantities are less than 450 but looking at our full table or our actual table you see that there are quantities 7 31 which is more than 450 480 is more than 480 so that means that 160 207 342 makes the statement less than 452 and these are the offices who actually received quantities that are less than 450 so in here we can just switch views and then go back to our design view and then we can just choose to just hide if you need to hide any of the tables that are not relevant to the problem for example the dates they received it the way bill and then whatever commodity you can choose that so when we come back here in a data sheet view you can see the name of the receiving officer and just the quantities that they received so basically that should be it for our query so we right click and then we just save our query and then we move on so when that is done our query is being saved we've given it a name and then the last part arrange the data in table cii that means the form that we created such that our commodity will be in descending order and then the name comes already we've given it a name let's open our forms we are supposed to just format our commodities such that the commodities will be in descending so when you look in your search and filter group in your home tab you'll see descending now when you hit on descending that means that you're going from z to the alphabet a that means that the names of commodities should begin from the bottom up so when you look at our forms our form that has been applied so tv which is at the bottom becomes the first record when you go to the next one f comes and then freezer and then cooker and then computer so alphabetically we're just moving from z to a from bottom up all right so that that does it and then let's look at our naming and everything make sure everything is fine so ss stores yes we have s stores i don't know why i keep saying ss stores so we have s stores so S stores is there for our file. Our query we have R stores. R stores is there for our table. We have TBL stores, and everything just looks fine. And that is basically that. So guys, we just save our file. Just hit on save just to be sure that yes, our file, our database has been saved. The important thing we have to just verify. So we go to our desktop, our database for our DBS stores. Yes, our table populated fine, our query, that is that, and then our form, which is created and then sorted out in descending order for per commodity. And with our, our query, these are offices receiving quantities or quantities or commodities whose quantity are just less than 450. And that is basically that. All right, thank you guys for being here. Thumbs up if you like the video, share with your friends, leave your comments below if there are any things that I, I have to address.
I'll be more than happy to assist you guys. Be great out there in this Kojo Japan signing out. See you in the next video. Bye.